हेलो हेलो कार्लोस गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टीचर हाउ आर यू दिस लवली नाइट आई एम वेरी गुड थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग मी आई जस्ट हैड अ dinner i went to work and i took a shower and i'm fresh right now to start the class that's great okay okay that's nice so you're relaxed yeah i'm relaxed That's excellent. And you, teacher, how is it going? Ah, you know, same old, same old, same old story. Working. Okay, when I say how is it going and have you been up to, is the same. Have you been up to? Yeah. Hmm. No, have you been up to is more specific. Like, mm, Ingrid, you look different. What have you been up to lately? You see? Okay, it's like more direct. You see? Okay, got the point. So, how was it for you today? During the day? A heavy day? Mm, not really. But... I just just do it. That that's correct when I say ya me acostumbré a la rutina. I am used to it. I'm I'm just used to it. Hold on, hold on. Let me text it for you. Play this. Play this. Okay, I am used to it according to the routine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you get used to the same routine. Yeah. After a while, after a while, I mean, you get your rhythm. After a while, you get into a rhythm, and and I mean, you just get to it. Yeah, I just get to it. Well, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, and the good thing is that I mean, as long as you don't hate what you do. No, actually, I I don't hate anything because it's job. That's yeah. how I can get money. But I would like I would like to have another kind of job in that mm -hmm. one I, I I can do heavy heavy work like physical yeah. work. So you want a job where you do not do physical work. That's what I want. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But I think I'm going to have more stress. A different type of stress, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, in the jobs that usually demand from you physical effort, I mean, you finish your schedule and that's it. I know, but and you have to in, search, search a lot of a lot of activities, so you have to keep in, in, in touch with, with everything. Yeah, and when we are talking about a job that you are like, like in our case here, sitting, I mean, I teach, but I have to, there's a whole process before the class and after the class. And I mean, it sometimes it's stressful, it's demanding. Nothing is easy in life. No, of course not. Only eat. Only eating. <laughs> well, Even 
even eat fish, he caught a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's not that easy. I know, teacher. Thank you for having me here. No, thanks to you for being here in class. Welcome, Carlos. Ingrid, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I am okay. Today, my, my day, I was uh, easy. Oh, really? An easy day? Yes, finally. <laughs> I will tomorrow too. Oh, really? Oh, Friday. Friday is going to be easy for you? I don't know, but I will. I will. <laughs> I hope. I hope so. Well, well. Uh, what about Friday? Didn't you tell me once that sometimes you had a short day in Friday? In this work, no. Mm. Yes, it's all day. But I I will just sal I will get out um, uh, early. But uh, how do you say evitar? Avoid. Uh, but avoid the traffic. Tomorrow is the uh, Black Friday. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow you don't make me go downtown. So, so, oh my gosh, my son's got an activity tomorrow. Yes. That's going to be crazy. Yes. Tomorrow will será. Tomorrow will be. Day crazy day. Yeah, tomorrow is gonna be terrible and horrible. Do you buy uh, uh, this day or uh, no? No. Once, one time in my life, I went. It took me like forty-five minutes just to get a parking. Just for no. parking. 45 minutes inside the mall. I mean, I'm talking about inside the mall, 45 minutes just to park. And that day, I promised myself that I would never go again. Yes. This day is horrible. But the the price is no is not shipping. Yeah, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. I mean, it's, it's not cheap. Yes, it's it's better buy online. Online, yeah, online. perhaps. Yes, but for I perf I prefer uh, going to the mall, and and I I see the clothes, the the whatever product. But it's complicated tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow and tomorrow you got class, so you don't have to. Make <laughs> There's no Black Friday for you. You got class tomorrow. No. Okay? You can go <laughs> early in the day, but not at night. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow there's no permission for you. All right. I mean, you gotta stay here with me. Yes. Well, Ingrid, nice having you here in class. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hello, hello teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? Bye, teacher. Bye. How was the day for you today? Um, very good.
Okay, and what time did you get home today? Sorry, teacher. What time did you get home? Uh, I am teacher. Uh, I got home in Awachapan City. Oh, really? Yes. Oh my gosh, I thought you were in your house. No. Working? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. You've been there the whole week? I just out all of the month? Yes, teacher. Um, yes, when did you get? Okay. Uh, well, tomorrow you're going to be home. That's good. Yes, teacher. Wilfredo, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, Chair. Ah, thanks to you. Let's see. Hey, Orlando, how are you? Hey, teacher, good evening. I'm doing great. Good evening. Okay, okay, that's nice, that's nice. And how was your day? Um, same than the other days. It was a boring day. Just, I went to Chalchuapa and to left some to drop some package there and i think i arrived to home like around 3 p.m and then uh when i was in home i started to look for other videos to learn more grammar and pronunciation and all, all that things yeah. not too okay. not too much interesting things for today Ah, and in, in in fact, in fact is correct, right? Yeah, you can say in fact. Okay, in fact, I, I'm just waiting for uh the Dallas notification if I get a job or not. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. That's nice. Let's hope. Let's hope. I'm waiting for that. Yeah. I'm so anxious. Yeah, yeah of course, course, of course. Cool. Uh, uh, maybe at the end of the class, uh, you can give me three minutes because I I want to share with you uh, some video about a YouTuber that is teaching some English class and him maybe that can give you uh, too much ideas to teach. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. Or you can send me directly the the the, the link. Okay, I will I will send to you uh, through WhatsApp. Yeah, that's perfect. You can check it out. That's perfect. That's great. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, there are many tools. Uh, the only problem we got here is that Instafor demands us we not cannot use different material. That's the yeah, only I know. problem. Yeah, I know. But I know. there there are some techniques that we can use. Hey, okay. Orlando, nice having you here. Welcome. Don't forget Thank to send so me the material. No, I, I will send to you right now. Perfect, great. Let's see. Magdaleno, where are you, my hey. friend? You're, you never seem to be home. <laughs> oh no, you're yes. working, you're working. Yes, I am ministering on a birthday. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Okay, let's talk later, Magdalena. Don't worry, don't worry. We can talk later. Okay? Oh. That's fine. That's okay. fine. That's fine. Thank you. Is that okay? Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Antonio Rodas, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, mister. How are you? I'm okay, teacher, but I'm tired. I'm sleeping. You're sleepy? Yes. Oh. I'm tired. I, I'm tired for, for recite classes every day. Yeah. But tomorrow's Friday, man. Tomorrow is like, I mean, at least the, the mind says, ah, it's Friday. Ah, yes. 
because for some of us, it doesn't matter if it's Friday, we got a lot of work, right? Yes, teacher, and Saturday too. Yeah, not like some of our classmates that say, now nah, Friday or Saturday is not working. So for them, it's cool. Yes, teacher. But in our case, we don't have that much luck. That much? <laughs> luck. Santa suerte. Oh, okay, teacher. That much luck. luck. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we gotta work, right? No option. Yes, teacher. No option. Okay, okay. okay. What's the plan for tomorrow? You going shopping? No, teacher. I don't like buy when it's a uh, uh, Black Friday. Yeah. Because Places I don't believe in, in, in their products. In a lot of problems, I don't believe that uh, everything or all products work okay. Yeah, no, what I don't like is that all the places everywhere you go, it's packed, full of people, packed. Yes, teacher. Everywhere so is packed. I don't believe in that. Yeah, I mean, as I was telling Ingrid, we went one. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. No problem. No problem. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, but I don't see movement. I guess you've got frozen. Yeah. It's lagging. Well, let's see who else is around. Orlando, no, no, Orlando, we already talked with Orlando. I'm sorry, Orlando. Holman. Hi, teacher, good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, better. I am better now. <laughs> okay, that's nice, that's nice. How was your day? Uh, for the same, I I think it was it was uh, much uh, more more uh, uh, yes. And sorry, uh, it was. Uh, uh, so much difficult and uh, hard because I I am tired. It, but it's okay. It's, it's the same. I, it's the same. Uh, nothing new. <laughs> nothing uh, new. Okay. Well, but you're here in the class. That's good. Yes, yes. Don't worry, in the class we have something new for you. Yes, yes. Today we are going, well, actually for tonight we have a lot of work to do, guys. Thank you, Holman, welcome. Let's see. <laughs> well, guys, let me get the opinions so we can forget for a little while about it. Let's see. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present, teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Thank you. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. 
Juan Francisco Aichala Montano. Carla Lisa García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abregos Arabia. Present, teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Chesceni Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Areva Ortiz. Present, teacher. Xiomar Elizabeth Cisneros. Ivania Shamile Domínguez. Present, And teacher. Thank you, Ivania. Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez. Present, teacher. Okay, guys. Give me just 30 seconds, okay? Just 30 seconds, please. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Problem fixed. Now, let's see. Oh, I was in the attendance. Ivania, Marlo. Oh, Jose Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosco. Here I am, teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Thank you, Gustavo. Nice. I like it when we have a lot of people here. Excellent, excellent. So, let's see. There's a second. Oh, I was telling you, I was, going, I was about to tell you about the activities today. Today, well, we are in unit number three. It's section number three, right? So, we got uh, some exercises to perform. We are going to work in pages number 27 and 28 from the manual. So it's going to be interesting. We have us a little conversation, some questions. And then a little bit of grammar. We're going to review the grammar that we already seen. We have seen it already. The one about the superlatives. And of course, we will always have a little time for Jeez. our conversation. Okay, so before we start with the manual, let's see who else is around. Carlos Celibaldo, hello, good evening. How are you, Mister? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? This lovely day. Well, night. Night, teacher. Everything's fine. Um, I'm fine and my word in the stress um, and and the yes, yes, stress is day, day stress and a stressful day a stressful day and, and movie the como decir de ya para acá teacher. I'm sorry, Carl. Eh, como tener un día movido de allá para acá. 
a hectic day. A hectic day. Okay. Well, let's let's hope tomorrow is better for you. Yeah. Let's hope tomorrow is a new day, a different experience. Thank you, Mr. Welcome. Okay, thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ivan, hello, Ivan. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Just fine. How was your day? Uh, today's a, a normal day in the world. For example, uh, make bank. Um, uh, how do you say in English? Disponibilidades bancarias. Banking availability. Okay, uh, I prepare a bank uh, by availabilities. Um, okay. Prepare report the other uh, accountants, um, others, um, others activities in the days. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I see. Regular. <laughs> oh, no, it's nice. It's nice. I mean, it's cool to be to be busy. I mean, to do your jobs, something that you, of course, enjoy, right? Yeah, right, right. Uh, um, there's a days uh, uh, easy. Um, eh, eh, poco trabajo o desocupado, what do you say? Not too busy. Not too busy. Not too busy. Ah, they not too busy. Uh, tomorrow, uh, not too busy. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I mean, yeah. it's good when yeah. you have a day like that that you can tell that. Like, not gonna be that busy, so you can like perhaps it not relax, but at least to to take it easy a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent, Ivan. Thank you, Ivan. Welcome. You're welcome, my friends. Okay, let's see. Shumara, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, good. I'm good, teacher. Okay, and tell me, how was everything? ¿Qué tal todo? Did you have a good day? It was interesting? No, my day was tiring. Very, very tired. But it's a normal day because all day uh, are tired in my work. Okay, well, the good thing is that you're in class now. You can relax a little bit, forget a little bit about your job. Yeah. Welcome, Bert. Welcome and thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, 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 hey. Marlon, Jonathan, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. I'm tired. You're fine and tired. Yes. yes. Tired for my job. Oh, yeah, I imagine, I imagine. What time do you finish working? This day, the uh, 5 p.m. At 5 p.m., what time did you get home? Uh, 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 5.14, 40, 45, sorry. 5.45, 5.45. Five forty-five. Yes. Oh, not that much, really. No, not much. Oh, that's no. nice. So you don't hit, you don't hit traffic. You don't hit heavy traffic. Poco. Not too much. Not too much. Okay, okay, that's great. Excellent. Welcome to the class, mister. Thank you. Let's see. Who else is around? Who else is around? Oscar, hello, Oscar, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Good how are you? Good evening. Hi. Very well, teacher. Hi. Okay, how was your day? What did you repeat again? Okay, how was your day? What did you do today? Ah, uh, very easy, teacher. Very busy, busy. Very, very busy. Okay, what time did you finish working? Uh, finish working the 45, 40, 45. Okay. 545, you say? Uh, no, 445. Okay, what time did you get home? Uh, uh, sit, uh, sit, uh, pass uh, 10 minutes. Hmm, okay. Well, the good thing is that you are here. So that means that you got time to relax. You have dinner already. Yeah, yeah. I watch TV in the moment. Uh, yes. I dinner then. And told, okay. told uh, a little moment by family. Okay, family. Yeah, that's good. That's very important to spend time with the family. Yeah. That's very, very important. Okay. Now, thank you very much, Oscar, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Now, next activity goes like this. We got a conversation. Remember, we are in unit number three, monitoring personal. This is the Instafor manual. We are in page number 27. And exercise two says, take turns practicing the model conversation. So we're going to work with the model conversation. Now, the conversation goes like this. 
Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. I repeat. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. I will repeat one last time. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okie dokie, guys. You're going to be, yes, Magdaleno, you have your hand raised. Uh, yes, teacher, I have a doubt yes, with, with an expression. Only let me find that. It's, it's in, in this part of the dialogue. It's, uh, I bet it saves. What it means? Estoy seguro que ahorra. I bet it saves. Okay, estoy seguro que Le apuesto. I mean, I bet means le apuesto. But in this case, the idea, the general idea is like, I bet it saves, uh, le apuesto que ahorra, estoy seguro que ahorra. Mm, okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So guys, let's see. Let me get the books ready so we can go and practice, practice, practice. That's the name of the game here, practicing. Okay, books are open. Four minutes. Okay. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use uh, an online service so that the staff can can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. Efficient. As efficient. Efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is. It's the best way to keep your staff organized or, um, on time. Okay, Oscar, uh, you start. 
Uh, okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. 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 I, I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That song, like the most efficient, efficient way it mm -hmm. is save a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and, and on, on time. Okay. I think the Gustavo uh, uh, um, Marlon. Marlon and Gustavo. Yeah, yeah, I start. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. Mm. Marlon, no. Marlon is off. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Okay, sorry. who else? Uh, I use, uh, I use okay. um, online service so that the staff can see their schedule for her phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet they save a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. The switch. Yeah. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? <clears throat> My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it's safe a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Organizer, organizer. Organizer. <laughs> organizer. Okay. Okay, Oscar. <clears throat> okay, Luis. Okay. Start, hey. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. You, I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I efficient, bet it's like efficient. Efficient, thank you. Efficient, efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is it's the best way to keep your staff organized on a on online, on time, on time. Okay. okay, Oscar, you start. Okay, Laura, how do you keep the catcher organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the, so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That's song. Like the most efficient way, I bet it is saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Then Gustavo. Me, Marlon, okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. Uh, Simara, you get to make it to the group. 
No logró entrar al grupo. Sí, pero no, nadie más responde. Ok, I, I'm recalling everybody in a few seconds. Ya lo llamo todo, pero lo saca, ok. Ok. I'm sorry, guys. I was talking. My microphone was off. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Ivan and Gustavo, are you ready? Ready, teacher. Oh. Yeah, ready. Okay, let's see. The one who's going to start is Ivan. Okay, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service, so that, sorry, sorry. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their home. That sounds like the most efficient ways it be saves a lot of time. Yes. It is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, don't forget to say organized. 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 But very well done. Let's see, that was. Ivan and Gustavo, so right? Now, Josue and Gabriel. Josue, you start. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, 
It is the best way to keep your staff organized, organized and on time. Perfect, well done. Now, Wilfredo and Ingrid. Who is that teacher? You, Ingrid. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their students from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Perfect. Excellent. Magdalena, are you available? Yes, teacher, I am available. I am in the okay. parking lot. Okay, you and Holman. Okay, who is there? Holman, you start, Holman. Yeah, let me check the cover. <clears throat> <clears throat> Laura. How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That, that sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it takes a lot of fun. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Xiomara uh, and Marlon. Who starts? Xiomara, you start, Xiomara. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an only service so that the staff can see their schedule for their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. <coughs> Perfect, thank you very much. Ivania and Orlando. Her first. Hey, Vania, you start. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I be it save a lot of time. Yeah. It is the best way to keep your staff organized on, on time. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see, Carla, are you available? Okay. Carlos Elivaldo, you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, Daniel Barenga, you ready? Okay, Antonio, Antonio Rodas, and Carlos Elibaldo. Antonio, you will start. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. He use the only service sometimes the staff can see their cellular from the third corner. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. 
Yes, it's the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Oscar Armando. Yes, yes, yes. Carlos Antonio is going to help you. Carlos Antonio, you start. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their uh, schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized on, 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 time, on time. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Next activity, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. And we have a bunch of stuff to do tonight. And time's flying. Okay, now we are going to talk about situations, okay? I'll give you a situation. Well, I'll give you different situations and you're going to answer. The situations are these. Under what circumstances would you walk out of a restaurant? Under what circumstances would you refuse a taxi? Under what circumstances would you call the manager of a hotel? And so far so on, okay? You continue doing the same structure of questioning. You're going to be working in groups, but I'm going to let me check the groups if they are right. You will have eight minutes for this activity, so let's hurry up. Hello, Antonio, are you there? Yes, my.
Okay, hello guys. Hello teacher. Are you asking an answer in the question? The idea is for you to ask each other. La idea es que nos hagamos las preguntas unos a otros, okay? Okay. Well, uh, for that uh, example, I don't have an idea because I drive motorcycle four years ago. So I don't have experience. But could be, for example, uh, if I ask for an Uber driver or in driver, I look uh, the feedback oh. for that driver if the driver has uh, bad feedback uh, I will not take their trip with him I will looking for I... other other person <laughs> okay okay don't don't get me wrong but I think I misunderstood something I thought taxi it was to purchase something but it, it wasn't. It was taxi. Is 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 the car? It's not a. I thought it was taxes. No, 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 no. taxi. I thought we were talking about restaurant, but it's okay. I understood right now. Don't worry. Yeah, because it's different kind of stage. No, no. Okay, it's different circumstances. Mhm. Mm Okay. For example, the second is under what circumstances would you refuse a taxi? I will refuse a taxi if the taxi is not on time. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, maybe maybe it's too late and I'm not going to make it on time if I want to go to my work. And if it is late, I won't take I won't take the taxi. That's why I would refuse. Teacher, it, it's correct if I said uh, the traditional taxi? Yeah. Okay. Or you well, can say I, a regular taxi. A regular taxi. Okay, thank you. Okay, you can explain that. The, under what circumstance will you call the manager of a hotel? Is the turn for Wilfredo and Yesenia? Um, <laughs> sorry, no, I. Uh, to avoid that, I eat only in pupuserias and, <laughs> and hot dog uh, shopping <laughs> and hot dog stores. <laughs> to oh, avoid that. Let's, go. <laughs> let's buy a chori. <laughs> that. Hey, man, oh, you... Soda. Soda huh? with spread. Yeah. <laughs> It's <laughs> right. <laughs> Bread with chicken and rice. Yeah, right. Uh, hey, Amen. Uh, uh, sometimes you are refused a taxi. Sometimes refuse. have you refused a taxi? Mm, of, of, of driver of. Have you driver. ever? Have you ever, have you ever refused 
a taxi. Have you ever? Taxi okay. is. Taxi is. Como en drive o como. No. Yeah. No entiendo. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Ah, yes. One time. In, in drive, Uber, conventional uh -huh. taxi, everything. Yes, I have done. I have done. Because I waited, I waited for Tim at least 15 minutes. And the and the application is what five minutes to get a ride. And mm -hmm. never get a ride here. Never mm -hmm. got a ride here. And you? I remember a lot of times when this 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 app. Um, Uber, when Uber. the Uber is, ah, uh, yeah, when the Uber is uh, far away or when the Uber, um, how do you say, teacher, demora más tiempo? De lo takes que longer. Time. Takes, takes longer. Okay, takes, takes longer, most that he, he have. Takes no, longer. he should. Takes longer he should. Should. Takes longer than what it should. Takes longer than what it should. Should. What should. it should. Is right? Yeah. Um should. También, uh, teacher, I can I can say I I I should say I I will say it's over time. Over time. No. no. The over it was over time. Is it? No. No. No, it it took longer than what it should. I mean, because over time doesn't apply in this case. Uh in, in what case I can use over time? When you talk time. about the, the work, work, yeah, when you are related, uh, when it is time. related to your job, yes. Mm -hmm. Take Over time long. is como tiempo extra, no? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Right, right. Okay, next question is call the manager of a hotel. Call, call. The manager of uh -huh. hotel. I, I don't remember. Know how to say, translate that in Spanish. Eh, ¿En qué circunstancias llamarías al gerente del hotel, de un hotel? Ah. They are not the one. Case, the, the case is you are in a hotel. Uh -huh. And yes, in yes. what circumstances would you? Uh -huh. Call the manager. Uh -huh. Okay. For example, if when I stay there, I the if my bed is is there, Jerry, or the bathroom is there too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Or oh, there are not lies, for example. There are? No, uh, light. Luz. I don't like you. Don't like you. Uh -huh. Light. Luz. Foco. No sé cómo dice foco. Ah, light. Lightning. Uh, lamps. Uh, lightning. Lamps. Lamps. Ajá. Uh -huh. The lámpara. Lamps. Ajá. Uh -huh. There are not. There are. There aren't. Lamp. Mm -hmm. I remember, okay, I don't remember if I had ever do that. If I had ever been in a hotel, I, 
I only have in hotel um, activities, for example, uh, activities like um, a conference or uh -huh. like a day, uh, like a breakfast in a hotel. But uh -huh. I don't remember uh, what when I actually yeah, I never I never I never was. I never, no, I never have been a guest in a hotel. Guest, guest. Mm -hmm. Guest, what's my guest? Hospedal. Huesped, huesped. Guest. Uh -huh. G-U-E-S-T. Ah. Guest, es mm -hmm. hospedal. Sí. Okie dokie, let's see. Uh, Ingrid, under what circumstances would you walk out of a restaurant? Um, when I, I don't like the menu. Um, and when the, the place is no Safer, safer, seguro. Safe. Safe for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now let's see, Ivan. Under what circumstances would you refuse a taxi? Tell me. Refuse taxi. Um, in my opinion, teacher. Um, I see a que a driver uh, a driver uh, does not uh, give me a confidence with me. Okay. You see that it's not someone you can trust. Perfect. Yes, it's a, it's a problem. Um, excellent, excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. Magdalena, under what circumstances would you call the manager of a hotel? Oops, not here. Carlos Antonio Serrano, under what circumstances would you call the manager of a hotel? Tell me. Okay, if I'm going to the, a hotel, if I don't like the place that I expected, I will call the manager because they don't give me the good ser a good service. Okay, perfect. Now let's see. Um, 
Antonio Rodas. Under what circumstances would you wear casual clothes to work? Maybe in a party, in a, a party. company. Yes. Or when I visit my family, my relative. Perfect, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Now let's see, um, Chiamara. Okay, let me see guys. I guess uh, I haven't taken the second attendance, right? No. No, yet. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let no, me get it. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Olivaldo Abrego Mármol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Here I am, teacher. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Carla Lisette García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criocio Guerrero. Magdaleno Escalante Orante. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Echesteni Alvarenga. Present teacher. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Girón. Present teacher. Thank you guys. Now let's see. Thank you, Xiomara, Rosalina, Jitenia. Thanks to all of you. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, exercise number three from page number 27. Fair work. How does your company organize schedules? In your opinion, what is most efficient? What is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Very interesting questions. Okay, guys, we are going to focus on second on the second question. In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing, okay? So that's the question we are going to discuss. We will have three minutes to discuss it. It's fast, it's something very, very simple, right? Let me get it just for you right here.
Allah. That's the question we are going to discuss. Let me get, get it to you in the group. There you go. Groups are open. Magdaleno, who were your partners? I got you out of the group. Who were? They, they were. So, teacher, I don't remember their names. Okay, I'll send you to a group, okay? Thank you. In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing, overstaffing, and understaffing? Um, okay, in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid the excess of personnel or the falta of Yeah. Okay. The the question is, in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understand? I don't know what that means. Let me think. Overstaffing is to have an excess of employees. And oh, okay. Not having enough employees. Okay. Let's see. I think uh, the best way to avoid this is is it really important to have uh, a good person, for example, in the areas who is the administration side and all that thing. Because if you don't have a good supervisor, uh, all the all your workers for sure quit the job. Because that is the it, it, that is the problem in my uh, company right now. I don't have a good boss, and sometimes I feel really upset with her because, uh, for example, they pay uh, too much late. For example, and if I got uh, some trips uh, far from San Salvador, they don't pay on time, so that's uh that's our or that's 
are so issues that the companies has right now, but what not the most, but some of the companies has that uh bad behavior with the workers. So I think that I don't know if that correct, but I have an idea of that. Correct me if I am grown, teacher. No, no, I'm here just listening, just listening. Okay. Carlos. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, in my opinion, the most efficient way to avoid overstaff, overstaffing is to have a schedule. Mm -hmm. Because if we have, if we have a schedule, we're going to work according to the schedule. But you know that and, most of the company, sorry, you know most of the company ask you, for example, after five, okay, we have too much work to do here and you need to be here until, for example, 7 p.m. And that's not correct, I think. You mean that you you have an it's hour to time. start, but you don't have you don't have hours hour to, to live. live. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I don't I don't know what kind of company you work from, but the one that I that I work, we got we got schedule, and we don't have too much. Overstaffing, but if 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 we don't have overstaffing, we we have to improve because I I have to take your job in in just an example. If you don't show up or maybe you went to the party and you don't want to go to work, I have to take your place and I have to work double. Yeah, that's in my opinion. I don't know, Wilfredo. Do mm -hmm. I you want to under stuff? And then the, the most efficient way, maybe maybe or could be uh, take care of everyone in please. So sorry, I have allergies because I am uh, outside. Okay. Yeah, I'm outside and, and I am receiving the, the, the wind of the night. Okay, the, the situation is that, that is if the company if the company take care of the uh, their employees, they can they can have um uh, acceptable level of employee. Yes, is that that's the, the word that I am founding. The um, mm -hmm. ser searching. Mm -hmm. Okay. I work. A company. And you? I am the, What's about you? I work in a company. I am the boss. Um, we um, we hired personal, but the way we do is we we have a CV and we call them and we give two weeks
Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. I was checking in the group, you were discussing, that's great. And let's see. I just need a couple of opinions because of the time. Hmm. Who's going to help me? Carlos Antonio, tell me. How do you think companies could do in order not to overstaff? How they need they to avoid? Set. Okay, they need to set an schedule. Because if the employees got a schedule and a schedule we can work um, in a proper way. Because everyone is going to have day off and day work, day for work. That's that's okay. how we can avoid overstaffing. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay, guys. Now let's see. Well, if you remember the other day we were talking about this, how to use the superlative form, and remember we use it to compare more than two personal things in a group. We are talking about the superlative, the biggest. Okay, and you remember the rules: the ESP if it's a short one, the word most if it's a big one, a long one, and remember always the particle. T H E that always and the irregular like good bad big that is instead of big uh, big that duplicates the the G big but now here you got your exercise let's see the exercise goes like this you have to underline the correct word or frame the most important the more important thing is to find a substitute for six employees. You're going, you got to choose between the comparative and the superlative, okay? Well, actually it's the superlative, but you need to find out which is the most appropriate, which is the correct one, okay? Which of the two expressions is the most correct? Using as a, as a clue, the, the box we have on top. For that exercise, Three minutes is more than enough because it's very simple. Just to choose which one is the correct. Hello. Hello, Ivania. There's Ivan, Romeo, and Rosalina is just listening to me. <laughs> the second is. The... 
the gun is scheduled as a reward. Reward. Don't use the best. For me, it's don't use the best schedule as a reward. Don't use the best. Yes. For you? Let me don't use the best. The goodness. goodness. Schedule as reward. Yes, I agree with you. Okay, and the, the number three. Jane is the faster, fastest, fastest, fastest. Jane is the faster, fastest. Jane is the faster. Is it a similar? Yes. Jane is the first. She is the first waiter. Waiter. Um. Fastest Jane is the fastest waiter. Is so similar in this case, yes, yeah, but in this case, is Jane is fastest waiters. Fastest waiter, fastest waiters. Fastest. And this is use the supply. Okay, okay. The first, the four. The four C delivery orders are the most popular. The more popular right now. Ah, uh, is for me is in my opinion, is the more popular right now. Delivery orders. The more popular right now. The more. Yes, the more popular right now. Yes. Do you think do you think same? Yes, I agree. More, okay. And number five. This restaurant has the prettiest. The most pretty decoration. This restaurant has the previous. Uh, the number two. I yes, believe the most pretty, the pretty, most decoration. pretty decoration. Okay. Are you agree too? Yes, I agree. Okay. Uh, number six. Number six is the kitchen manager's work, the longest, longest shift, longest shift. Longest shift. Okay, give me a little chance for seeing. Longest, longest shift. The kitchen manager's work. Will be the longest, it's just the longest shift. The, the kitchen manager for the longest. Longest or longest shift? The longest. Only longest. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. We are finished. Okay, perfect. Let's see, everybody's here, everybody's here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, guys. The sentence. Let me check. Let me just do something for you. Perfect. Let's do the exercise together. This is better like this. Okay, let's see. We're in exercise six, right? So Ivan, tell me. In number one, we know that the most important thing is to find a substitute for six employees, for six employees. Yes, it's true. Okay, now Ivan, number two, tell me. Okay, the, the number correct? two, uh, my opinion, uh, the, the word correct is the best. Okay, read the sentence, please. Yes. Read the sentence, Leana, for sure. Don't use the best. Don't use the best schedules as a reward. Don't use the best schedules as a reward. Thank you, Ivan. Gabriel, Thank number you. three. Teacher, number three the faster am i the sentence yeah 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 is the faster white white waitress white jane is the fastest waitress like perfect let's see Antonio Rodas, number three. For me, teacher, delivery orders are the most popular right now. Delivery orders are the most popular right now. Excellent. Number five goes to 
Francisco Ayala. Hello, teacher. Uh, for me, is the the most pretty decoration. Oh, sorry. The restaurant has the most pretty decoration. Okay. Now look, pretty is such short adjective. When you have short adjectives, what you do is you just add est. Okay. The most applies when the adjective is long. So in this case, the pretty decoration. Okay. Pretty now decoration. let's see. Ivania, number six. What you got, Ivania? Um, the kitchen manager works the lunches chief. The kitchen manager works the longest, the longest, okay? The yes. longest shift. Yes. Okay, perfect. You're right. So the sentence is number one. The most important thing is to find a substitute for the employees. Don't use the best schedule as a reward. Jane is the fastest waitress. Delivery orders are the most popular right now. This restaurant has the previous decoration. The kitchen manager works the long. Okay, guys. Now, 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 now we got us something different. Okay. Now we are going to talk about money, but we are going to do it different. Instead of working in groups, we are going to discuss it here. So the questions, if you won a lot of money, what would you do? Would you keep it a secret, stop working, go shopping, buy a new house, travel around the world, give money to your family or friends, give money to charity? What would you do? Tell me guys, what would you do if you want a lot of money? So let's see, Carlos Antonio, tell me. Okay, teacher. Imagine that you want a lot of money, you want the lottery, okay? Okay. Would you keep it a secret? Yeah, I will keep, I will keep it a secret. Why? Because I don't want nobody to notice that I won the lottery and it will be dangerous. Someone can steal my money. <laughs> okay. So they don't steal your money? Yeah. Okay. It's better that's, to... That's a very good reason. Yeah, it is the best in the... The right one, reason. Okay, okay. Now let's see, Ingrid, if you want a lot of money, would you stop working? Tell me, Ingrid. Sorry, teacher. If you want a lot of money, Will you stop working? Yes. Okay. Yes. How much? <laughs> how much money will be enough to make you stop working? Um, I um, maybe for a month. Uh, five mil millions. <laughs> five millions? Oh my gosh. That's yes, a lot teacher. of money. That's a lot <laughs> of money. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay, teacher. let's see. Samara. Oh. Ivania. Hello, Ivania. Hello, teacher. 
if you want a lot of money, uh, would you go shopping? Mm. Would you go shopping? Say the other compra? Yes. Okay. What would you like to go shopping if you have, I mean, if you have uh, enough money, a suficiente dinero, to buy anything you want, a comprar cualquier cosa. What would uh -huh. you buy first? <clears throat> I go buy a car. A car, okay. Mm. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's see, Ivan. Tell me, teacher. Okay, Ivan, you ha have just won a lot of money. Would you buy a new house? Yes, good idea, my friends. New, new house here? Interesting inversions in my life. Investment, investment. In, uh, thank you, thank you. Investment in my life. Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, they increase the price. You are making money, right? Yeah, uh, uh, the house, uh, uh, how do you say, este, como se dice? <laughs> Va ganando este valor, este... Plus value. value. Yeah. Plus value. What do you say in English? Plus value. Just, just say value. 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 Yeah, the value increases. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, Orlando. Yes, teacher. Tell me, if you want a lot of money, would you travel around the world? Uh, yes, why not? It's a good idea because I can... Okay, uh, where would know. you go first? Which is the country that you would like to go first? Costa Rica, because I went. I was there in 2014. Oh, really? Yep. And you enjoy the country? For sure. It's because uh, the weather is, uh, I don't know how to say, in a place is sunny, in another place is raining. It, the, the weather there is so crazy, but I really like the culture there. Yeah, and if you go out to the, to the mountain, to the volcano, mm -hmm. it's cold. Yeah, I, uh, let's see. Is a volcano there? Is the name is Irasu? Yeah, I never like, went. I never went I mean, there, but it's cool. You should. You should. I mean, it's yeah. like there's ice, like snow. Yeah. Ah, for real. Yeah, I never real. heard that about that. It's cold. You yeah, should, bro. So cool. So cool. But I was in uh, nearby to. Panama nearby, nearby. Thank you. Nearby to Panama boundary. I don't know is that correct. Border. Border. And it was cool place, but it the weather there is so hot. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So hot. But it's cool. I love Costa Rica. If I Excellent. had if I have money in the future, for sure I will go there. Excellent. Excellent. Now let's see Magdaleno. Hello, teacher. If you want a lot of money, uh, would you give money to charity? To share. Your question is if I if I want a lot of money, I would share. Is yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. And in this way, yes, I give, uh, I give um, some money because I maybe I uh, I make business. I make business to give work to other people, especially in the countryside, to warranty. Garantizar, right? Yeah. To warranty that, that those people 
have money to give uh, food to their families. In this way, I can help more people for a longer time. In this way, I, I think about that. Okay, excellent. I don't know what you think about that. Mm, I mean, it's your money. You make with your money whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> no opinions. Right. But that's something I never have an opinion with people's money. I don't get into because you know some people is picky. It's okay. The, the, the just thing that I need is have the money. It's only that. Because now I don't have. Okay, perfect, Magdalena. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, guys, let's see. It's the time for me to get the attendance. Let me get the attendance, please. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Olivaldo Abrego Marma. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Pérez. Present teacher. Eh, Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. I am here. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Montarrosa. I'm here, teacher. Juan Francisco Ayala Montana. Present teacher. Carla Lizette García Lem. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Piollo Guerrero. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Um, sorry, Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado Vilma Chesenia Alvarenga Wilfredo Areval Ortiz Present teacher, good night Good night, Wilfredo Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales Present. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Fernández. Present. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Pirón. Present, teacher. Okay, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Wait a second, wait a second. The order for the expositions that start on Monday. Okay, goes like Carlos Antonio, first. Carlos Tenivaldo, second. Gabriel Beltrán. En Gustavo Javier, they go for Monday. Could you please give us details, please, about the exposition? Any topic you want to talk about? You got three minutes to present to your classmates. Three minutes? Yeah, three minutes minimum, four minimum, four minutes max. Is going to be over the class or, or in the over class. the class? Yeah. Oh, okay. So everyone is going to hear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, teach. I'm going okay. to be ready. Thank you. Tuesday, Ingrid. 
Ivan Holman José Rodrigo and Juan Francisco Achala. Wednesday. Carla, Luis Antonio, Luis Mario, Magdaleno, and Nelson. Thursday. Orlando, Oscar, Rosalina, and Vilma Jessen. And for Friday, Wilfredo, Xiomara, Ivania, and Marlon. Okay? That's the order of the presentation, guys. Okay? If you have any trouble, let me know. Don't miss the class. No se me pierdan las clases porque tuvo algún problema con la presentación. I can reprogram and help you. Yo reprogramo, les ayudo, okay? That's why I'm leaving. I'm leaving one day off. Estoy dejando el siguiente lunes libre. So we can reprogram and everything, okay? Any question before we leave? It's oh. going to be next Monday. Yeah, you start next okay. Monday. Okay. I have a question, but uh, I yeah, will- Yeah, tell me. Uh, no, I, I will write in you to WhatsApp. Okay, perfect, no problem. And you won't write, you will text. Okay, text. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, a pleasure to have you all here in class tonight. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Ingrid, good night. stay, right? Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Let's see you in. Perfect. Uh, una pregunta. Yeah. Eh, el tema va a ser el que nosotros queramos. Yep. Up to you. Y este, son tres minutos. Pues... Que tengo que tengo que estar tengo que mantener va a ser una conversación diálogo o va a ser algo que no, yo no, no. a presentation you expose y de la como la presentación o sea tengo que poner como la computadora así y exponer o la tengo que dirigir aquí por medio del, del, del zoom yep O sea, usted lo que va a hacer es comenzar a hablar sobre cualquier tema. Usted coge un tema y comienza a hablar. No es que tenga que preparar Ajá. una gran cosa. Simplemente comenzar a hablar de un tema que a usted le llame la atención. Ah, va. Excelente. Y los recursos que ocupe, digamos, que son para, para obtener como la, 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 el, el, la estructura de mi, de mi ponencia. Bien. Eh. Bien. Uh -huh. ah, va. Excelente. Ok. Gracias. Uh, gracias. Thank you no so much. Problem. No problem. Good night. Thanks to you. Have a good night. Okay, Thank let's you. see. Hello, give me just a second. Okay, give me 30 seconds, please. Let me drink the okay? Okay. okay.
Okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, the last question, teacher. The ex exercise four point five. The homework, okay. perdón. Give me a second. Le comparto pantalla. No, 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 no. it's not necessary. Yeah. Okay, you told me section? Eh, 4.5, the last question. Okay, 4.5, last question. He no work. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. He isn't working next week. Uh, okay. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Only that uh, a doubt. Okay. Well, so glad to have been of help. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.